Hello. Uh, my name is Timo Klemmala. I'm an instructor of uh, Asahi Academy in Vilna. Uh, welcome to do Asahi exercises with me. Uh, but uh, before we start, uh, I want to tell you something about the background and history of uh, Asahi Health. Uh, we developed Asahi Health exercise about uh, 15 years ago. We were four karate men, karate teachers, who wanted to do something uh, that everybody could do, a kind of an uh, easy, easy uh, health exercise that can be, uh, can be practiced by everyone. We had a background uh, in karate, as I said, but also in Chinese arts like Tai Chi and uh, Qi Kung. When we were developing Asahi health exercises, um, we took influences of, uh, of, of these, uh, basically these Chinese uh, exercises and put together a system that we think is a kind of an easily uh, approachable way to practice your body and mind. Asahi health is a kind of multi-level exercise. You can find a health, health exercise level, you can find a somatic exercise level, and also uh, it is a body-mind practice. So, so we have done this uh, work now about 15 years. And in Finland, uh, there is uh, now about 900 uh, Asahi instructors going around and teaching Asahi all over in Finland. In these videos, I want to teach you the basic series of Asahi Health. Asahi Health is, is based uh, uh, on, on three levels of exercises and uh, the first, the basic level is a kind of uh, is a kind of uh, uh, starting point for all the other levels. The other levels are kind of variations of the movement of the first level. So I want to teach you now the first level of Asahi exercises. Asahi uh, series is, uh, is uh, constructed of uh, four, four sections. We practice uh, the whole body uh, from up to down. We start, uh, we start uh, with the relaxation movements, breathing movements, uh, body alignment, uh, alignment movements. Then we, uh, we proceed to shoulder neck exercises. Then we go to back exercises and we finish with uh, balance and leg exercises. In this video series, uh, I will teach you uh, one section at a time, and uh, with the section I also teach you some of the basic principles of Asahi exercise. We start from the beginning, and, uh, and uh, I'll teach you the relaxation movements. The relaxation movements are also body alignment movements. Uh, we try to uh, understand uh, the center line and how to, uh, how to uh, keep your uh, good upright position all the time uh, in your body. Uh, all the sections of Asahi, uh, they contain uh, three movements each, so the series is contained of 12 movements. In addition to that, we do breathing exercises uh, in the beginning and at the end of the whole series, and also between the sections we do some breathing exercises. And we finish the, the uh, exercise uh, with a standing, uh, standing exercise which is also an important part of Asahi. So, altogether, 
uh, the basic level contains 16 exercises. Let's start from the beginning. Uh, the, basic, uh, the basic position, your feet point directly forward, you bend a little bit of your knees, sit down a little bit, let your waist turn a little bit so that your back is straight and the tailbone uh, lowers a little bit. So you loosen the waist, let the tail a little bit sink and relax, relax your body to this slightly sitting position. At the same time, think that your back is straight and, uh, and long. And have a feeling that your uh, top of your head is lifting a little bit. So you have a very relaxed but upright position. Relax your shoulders. Let your breathing drop down to abdominal breathing and relax. Okay, now we are ready to start to move. The first exercise is a, is a deep breathing exercise. Breathe out, breathe in and rise your hands slowly and breathe out and lower your hands down. Breathing in, stretch a little bit, breathing out, lower your body weight, contract a little bit. Breathing in, expand the whole body, expands. Breathing out, the whole body contracts. This is a very important principle in Asahi. The whole body is moving, opening and closing. Contracting and expand. Deep breathing in and deep breathing out. Okay. Let's take the starting position. Try to find the center line which goes inside of your body, in the middle of your head, in the middle of your stomach. You can find kind of points and imagine that there is a center line connecting these points and going through them to the floor and up to the ceiling. Relax your shoulders, try to find the feeling of the center line. Then you start rotating your body. Relax your arms and let them slap to your body. Rotate your body so that the center line keeps in place. Don't move the center line, just rotate the body. Relax the shoulders totally and relax the arms totally. Let your head follow your movement. Look over your shoulder left and right. And relax, relax. So this is movement for relaxation, but also a movement where we try to understand and find the center line and how to hold the center line upright all the time. We try to feel the the gravity and position our body to the optimal 
position uh, towards the, the, the pull of the gravity. And relax there. And okay, let's take the power away from the movement and relax. That was the first movement. We go to the second movement. You continue the same uh, rotational movement as in the first movement, but you, but you direct your hand forward and backward. So the movement looks like this. You also stop the head movement and uh, uh, look straight forward. Relax the hand, rotate the body, kind of throw your hand forward and backward. Try to keep the center line in place. Just rotate the center line. Feel the relaxation of the arms and shoulders and carry yourself in a good alignment. The center line keeps in place. Okay, we go to the third moment. We take a step, I'll show it by the side, step, and begin to uh, swing the arms by moving the weight from leg to leg. So the movement looks like this. I swing my arms by moving the weight back to forth, back to forth. Relax the shoulders. Keep your feet on the floor. Don't rise the heel or toes. Feel the connection to the earth, or to the floor. And feel the relaxed swing of your arms. Drop your arms towards the floor. And let all the tensions drop to the floor. Let's change the feet. Feel how how your center weight drops. When you go back, it drops down a little bit. And the hands drop down. And your central weight kind of uh, flies from leg to leg. Okay, we finish. And then we do a breathing exercise again. Breathe in and breathe out. Expand and contract. Breathe through your nose. Inhale and exhale. 
Feel the movement in the feet and in the back. Sink and rise. The whole body moves. The breathing movement starts from the feet and back and the whole body is moving all the time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay. That was the first part of uh, Asahi health exercise. What you should take into consideration when you do these movements, uh, as I said before, they are uh, relaxation movements, but they are also center line movements. And when we do Asahi, during the whole set, we try to practice uh, how to carry our bodies in a good position, which means in a good uh, uh, position uh, towards the pull of the gravity. We try to take the, uh, the pull of the gravity uh, in a, uh, as a relaxed way as possible. And that means good alignment. And the center line is a kind of a uh, good image to practice this thing. So when you do these exercises, this, uh, Imagine the center line uh, uh, like a concrete line going through your body. It can be kind of like a, like a big stick going there or, or maybe a pipe going through your body, which gives you a kind of a concrete idea what the center line looks like. And then try to move around the center line. There, there are three movements of center line what we practice uh, in Asahi, and also uh, these three movements uh, you can find them in every movement. Uh, uh, it is not de uh, dependent on the art. Uh, there is there is the rotational movement. There is a weight shift, and there is a sinking and rising movement. And um, these are the moments uh, what we try to find uh, also in all the Asahi moments. Now when we begin with, uh, with these first movements, we mainly uh, concentrate on, on rotational movement. This is rotation of the center line. Also this is rotation of the center line. But the third movement uh, combines uh, rotation, uh, combines uh, weight shifting, because when I do this movement, there is weight shifting, center line stays upright, but I do weight shifting, but also I sink a little bit when I go back. So when I do this movement, like shaking movement, at the same time I sit down a little bit, so in a way I hit my center line uh, uh, to the earth through the floor, like this. So actually there are two movements, weight shifting and uh, sinking movement in this third center line, uh, in, in, in this third uh, re relaxation movement, like this. Sit a little bit, like this. Sit a little bit. Also, I, I, I try not to lean backwards. It's very easy to do this mistake that that the upper body leans backwards. So that's why I have to have a good position of my waist. The tailbone is down a little bit, and when I go back, sit down, I feel myself leaning a little bit forwards, but just, uh, just a very little, not much, but just a little bit. Then I prevent this uh, falling backwards. So I go down, I sit a little bit and I lean a little bit uh, forward, like this. A 
Okay, this is, uh, this is how I try to be aware how the center line moves. And in this way I try to create awareness of center line, also in everyday life. Whatever I do, I try to be aware how my center line is, uh, is uh, functioning uh, in every, every, uh, every moment. Let's do everything again. Let's start from the, from the beginning. First, basic position. Relax. Sit a little bit. Flex your knees. Think that your back is long, straight. Relax the shoulders. And start breathing out. In, deep breathing, out, deep breathing. Inhale, feel the movement from feet and back. Exhale, feel the contraction of the whole body. Inhale, Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Okay. Feel the center line. Begin to rotate your body around the center line. Relax the hands, arms, shoulders, rotate the body, let the head turn left and right. Feel your arms heavy and relaxed. Don't stop the movement of the arms. Let them slap to the body. Feel the rotational movement now and try to transfer this feeling to the next movement. You continue the same rotation now. You continue the same body movement but direct the hand, hands for forward and backward. But you still, still rotate the body. You look forward, the head keeps still. Relax the hands, relax the shoulders, let the body rotate around the center line. And let's go to the third movement. Take a step and relax. Swing the hands. Move your center weight forward and backward and let this movement cause the hand swinging movements. When you go back, sit a little bit down. Change. Ok, 
Okay. Breathing exercise. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, open, exhale, close, sink. Inhale, rise, feel the movement in the legs and in the back. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, let's finish this movement with a standing exercise, lower your hand and imagine that you are carrying a ball which is here in front of the stomach and you hold the ball there. The ball is very light, maybe made, made of paper, and it's easy to carry. Feel the structure of the body. The elbows point to the, to the uh, sides, not backwards. but towards the walls, side walls. Your palms rotate up almost upwards. Your fingertips, they point to each other. Your back is straight, shoulders down, relaxed. Feel your power coming up from your feet, up to your waist, up the spine and up through your head towards the sea. Feel the power of the structure of the body and relax at the same time. The shoulders down, the whole body is as relaxed as possible. Sense the feeling in the fingertips, in the palms. Maybe you feel some warmth, some itching, vibration. After this kind of exercise, you may feel different kind of feelings in your hands. Expand your awareness to the whole body. Try to feel every cell of your body from your toes up to the head, top of the head and to the fingertips. And just relax in this feeling. Okay. Okay, thank you. Next time we'll continue from here.